Welcome to the show, one and all. This is Damn Ugly Doggy coming to you with another episode of This Land is My Land. So today we are back into the campaign, trying to create a feeder. And I have been busy moving villages. Uh, what I'm doing right now is setting up... I thought I would go ahead and bring you on in, even though this isn't going to be the most action-packed episode. Uh, this is more about village maintenance and doing some moving around and getting ready for the treaty. So, if you're interested in how that works, then stick around. If you're looking for straight up Rambo 24-7 <laughs> action, this may not be the video to watch. Either way, I hope you enjoy the show. And so what I've done so far is I've already created and moved basically, I think it's 10 villages. And what I'm doing is I'm evacuating this whole area and down here as well. And I'm creating blocker villages. As you saw from the previous episode when the cavalry came through, they managed to come from all the way down here, all the way up to my number four village. And I believe two or three of the cavalry attacked at one time. So that's quite quite the path they were able to take without running into any opposition. And the fact that they all were able to get up there and attack that village at the same time really put a, a dent in my warrior count. So I don't plan on letting that happen again. And basically what a blocker village is, is I've gone around the map. And let me pause this, make sure that's paused. Uh, I've gone around the map and I look for the main arteries, the main roads leading into my area. And I've placed a village on each one of these roads. Then I've taken the items needed to upgrade the village. And I've gone ahead and upgraded it to its maximum capacity, which is 30 warriors. Then I take a village that I already have, say it was down here, and I move the warriors and the horses into the new village, take all the guns out of this village, put them in here, and disband this village. And basically that's how I move villages. So if we go around the map real quick, you'll see all these main roads that lead anywhere now have villages impeding their progress so say somebody comes up this road he's going to run into here both of these feed into this main artery so nobody is likely to come through here so this whole section is basically protected uh, i can't get one well actually i did i got one up here there's still a path of coming down this way which they'll avoid all these villages but I have plenty of villages where I can just send attackers out and swarm. Uh, up here, that's a little blocker right there. And if we look over on this side of the map, let's see, take that road down. Basically, it just comes from here. And I'm not able to get a village on this artery, so that's kind of a pain in the butt. But I have plenty of guys around that I can use to swarm, which is something I'm going to do the next time I'm attacked. I'm going to make sure I use my warriors to go ahead and attack the people trying to come up. Uh, hopefully get those patrols one at a time. But I've also cleared out this area. I've cleared out all of this. I used to have three or two villages up here. I took them out. And I still have a couple of villages that I want to move. Uh, let's see. This guy. I want to move him up. And I think there was another one somewhere. I like this one. I don't want to move him. And we'll have to look around. I also want to create some villages in safe zones and upgrade them and just leave one warrior in those that way if they are taken out it won't really matter 
but I want to have some villages ready, empty villages sitting around for things to come later. So, what was that main artery? I wonder if I could find a... I gotta try to place something on that main artery. But as you see, it usually gives you pretty limited options. Gonna look around a little bit, there's nothing. That's darn close, that's, that's pretty much on it. That would stop anybody coming from up this direction. And I already have a village in there. Alright, I like that. Let's go with, uh... 40. So I might end up making two from here. Go there. I don't think so. We'll give you one of those. Five of those. I don't have any wood, huh? Ah. That is why I try to leave a hundred wood in every village for moments like this. Then we'll go ahead and try that again. Uh, five. Alright, so we're going to send a boy up that way. Let's see if we can do another interesting village anywhere. No? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and keeps giving them the same gun. This isn't going to be, this village isn't a blocker, it's just going to be an empty village. Uh, what am I doing? 54. But I need to arm this one as quickly as possible. Although I'm not sure who I'm going to send. It's an awfully long road. I don't think I want anything else around this way. I'd like to put a few more in the center here. That'd be a good one to take. And I do... Ah, uh, wait, what am I doing? I do have wood. I can get rid of this fort. That's going to be an empty village. Okay. I need that blocker village to go ahead and fill up. So since I'm just looking for empty villages right now, That's a good spot. Yeah, I don't mind that. And... That's a pretty good spot. I wouldn't imagine anything is going to bother these villages because they should be pretty well off the main path take an opportunity to get rid of another one of those as you can see I'm at 81 percent I don't think I want to go above 85 percent so I'm not a hundred percent positive that um, 
I'll be able to keep all of these. And this is also a test of uh, a different way to go for the treaty. So there is a method behind my madness here. I can't really explain it at this point, but you'll see later on if my theory proves to be correct. <laughs> trust that there is a reason I'm doing what I'm doing and I'm actually just kind of waiting for that doesn't seem so on the road where's the one that was on the road oh that's ugly there it is so it's the very last one that I did okay I'm waiting for him to get occupied so I can move some dudes into it. Alright, what else do I want to do? What's the last one? That already has... Now I'm not exactly sure how the numbers work, but if you create a new village inside a zone that already has one of your villages. So say I have these two and I create another one here. It seems to me it takes less percentage so it'll give you less percentage of the land than if I create a village in this empty zone. So in other words let's say it's 81.7 and I put a village here. I believe it would go like 82.1 or whatever. Maybe 80. 1.9 even but if I create it here it's going to go 82.8 or 83 and it's going to consider this and I'm not 100% on this but it's just my feeling it's kind of what I've noticed is there's a big difference between putting more villages in a zone you already control than to put a village in a zone that you don't control and I also believe that it gives you less total land and again I could be wrong if you evacuate so say I have three here but I only have one here and I don't really need this zone if I evacuate this zone it's gonna go ahead and give me more percentage of the land back to them and this is why I am now trying to create safe villages in zones that I already control I'm just kind of looking around. I really want to have a nice core set of villages in this area. This is like my prime um, farming area. Obviously because it's between the two of the three zones, it's in the middle. So it makes gathering anything from the desert or the forest easier and you're already in the plains. So it makes buffalo easy to come by. How many do I have? Okay, I'm going to pause. I have two, four, six, eight. Let's do two more. Now, another raid could come through at any time here as well. And this is just kind of what I'm doing in between the raids. Speaking of, so I have a, a town up here. And I have a core little set of settlers still alive up here that I haven't taken out. They are sending out patrols. Uh, apparently their awareness decreased. So I, apparently they're not going to be as aggressive. And the next thing I, I am waiting for and I expect to happen is another raid. I could get a treaty offer. But I'm not expecting that at this point. Uh, so I want to set up two more. means I want to find a good spot. Yeah, those are all good spots. I like taking that fort, although it's next to a bear. 
And that actually reminds me, didn't I just see... Yeah, this. That is not working so well. I mean, I'm sure they would wipe them out, but I don't even want to deal with it. So I'm just going to go ahead and disband him. I didn't like that placement. Um, what was I going to do? This one? Let's see, I pretty much want to set up two more. I can probably do them both from here. Where'd you get wooden bows? Huh. I don't know where they got wooden bows from. Let's see what we can get here. So I don't have any villages in this zone, so I don't really want to occupy that anymore. Uh, I could take that, but it's next to the bear, so that kind of sucks. That's a real nice spot there. And so is that. This one might be more useful, being a little closer to the road, and my other villagers, what am I doing? Clip one. And we'll go ahead and set up another one. That would almost be a blocker right there. What do I have? Well, you ain't going to get up that road. He would get up this road, though, if he went that way. He can get up that way, too, though. I think I'll go ahead and set one up there. Just kind of taking you along on my thought process here. And we're going to go ahead and start upgrading. So I leave all my parts that I need to upgrade villages. Looks like I need Buffalo Pelt. And the last village that I upgraded. And I need Buffalo Pelt. Grab a thousand more. And let's go to this last one. Do 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 do. And we're going to go ahead and upgrade. I think it was the fourth one. Was the one on the road. And I go ahead and take everything back out. And this process goes pretty quick. I'm just going to leave 50 in there. That's not the one. You can see this patrol's coming. Where's he going? That could be interesting. Well, wherever he's going, I'm going to attack him. Quit. Ah, uh, you're definitely not taking those. I don't think you need shotties. I don't mind the rest. Give me a couple more of those. And two more of those. Throw some 54s on you and some more 38s. Give you a couple of those and 20 of those. This village, I'm sure, can handle itself, but I'm still going to send some backup for them. Alright, and where was I? I want to get rid of these bows. Okay. Ah, last one, dude. Get 
back to what I'm doing. I want to see a message down here that my boys are killing some people. There's one. I'm kind of surprised I even lost two. That's just so far. Hmm. Okay. These guys should be kicking some serious butt with the weapons they're carrying. Where am I? Guess I've done that one. Huh. That's some BS. It seems like my warriors are doing a lot worse since I've given them better weapons. They used to do really well with just the uh, regular grade weapons. There's no way. There's just no way. <laughs> And a dollar says this camp is just going to have a few extra stupid uh, low grade, low quality weapons in it that they get off of these guys. That's just weak. Stupid. See, and that's the unfortunate thing sometimes with this game is it's just so unbalanced at times. I mean, these guys are all holding only high-grade weapons, and they're just getting picked off somehow. I'm sure as hell not going to go up there and help them. That was just bullshit in my book. I'm curious to see what kind of weapons. Looks like one regular shoddy, some handguns. I don't see anything extra there really. Just that one regular shoddy and a regular... Yeah, that's pretty that's bunk. Versus all those guys. And I lost like five dudes from there and a couple guys from there. That was just... Whatever. Can't win them all. <laughs> what are you going to do? Huh. That was unfortunate. Alright, where am I at? I need to get this guy going now. Pick up the parts. Alright, well, let's go ahead and pause. Um, we'll go with that. Try to get over this chore that I need to get done. This is why you would want a feeder campaign, so you can do stuff like this when you feel like it. Looks like I was out of, what was that, buffalo horn?
Yeah, buffalo horn. And the rope. Get this one done. And this is the one on the road. So let's do this. Alright, which is the village I want to get rid of? It was... This guy. We're going to send him on a long trip. And unfortunately he only has five horses. So I'll send five dudes first. He's going there. Then I'm going to send the rest of them. And then I take out all the guns, everything from the village. So you see, there's two warriors left. And I go ahead and disband. Now this whole zone is empty. Then I go up to their village and moving villages is just that easy. Alright, now I can get back to what I was doing, make sure there's no patrols anywhere around. Now if the only danger here is, besides my guys running around, is if a patrol comes through and hits this village with only one guy in it, and all these weapons, I'm going to lose all these weapons. <laughs> and that's happened. So, yeah. But I still do it. Because, oh my guy, what are you going to do? <laughs> upgrade I'm kind of curious what my percentage is going to be after this I don't think I want to try to upgrade anymore until I find out exactly where my land percentage is at that'll be another 200 out of there where am I Get these last two down. I wanted to leave ninety in there. Pick up some more wood. And I believe I'm on the last one, right? looking pretty good. I want to make sure there wasn't anybody else that I wanted to move. I like him. I've got this town here so I've got a couple of villages that can wipe them out if somebody comes in and reoccupies it. That's a little blocker. Big blocker. 
these guys aren't making it through there. This is the town that I've left alive. Looks like I've got another, uh, I've got a post wagon coming around. That is still, that's pretty irritating on that one. Hmm. Doesn't look like I lost any. Looks like I might have just lost the sharps. I want to get the bow. I've been taking all the bows out of these camps too. I want to take the shotties out. Anything that doesn't have long range, I don't want in there. Might as well take those. Take those. Take those. Um, might as well clean it up while I think about what else I want to do. What is two doing? Oh, uh, they're still, they got lost or something. Go ahead and drop that off. In the back of my mind, I'm always thinking that the next raid could come through at any time. Alright. And those are all solid, okay. I wanted to move a few guys over to this one. Where do I have extra dudes? Looks like you'll do. Where is it? There you go. I'm going to send five guys over there. And I'll probably send some more too. I'm going to give you five of those. I really don't need to give them these, do I? Especially since I don't have the... They should be fine. Oops. I left one in there. What are you going to do? You can give up a few guys. Yeah, I don't want to do that. They should be able to safely travel over to that side. Where's this guy headed? Okay, so he's just doing a loop. So I don't need to really worry about this patrol guy. Let's see. Yeah, he'll be fine going up there. Alright, let's go and fast travel to my horse and see if that switches up. Uh, see if that tells me what my percentage is. I don't think I have to exit the game to get the percentage to change. This is 81.7, so it is the same. Alright, so I do have to exit. Uh, let's go tab. This is all just part of the process for me. And this will kind of tell me how much if any more I can bring in before I go past the point where I don't want to go. 
So 85, it's 80. I actually see how that works. I took out, because I left a region, but it only had one village in it. And I added eight more villages. I actually decreased in the amount of land that I have. So this is definitely working. That's kind of sad. 189. I had... I'm going to take a peek at something here. I want to see what I had when I went into this. I had 198. So, yeah, that one stupid patrol did way too much damage. That's... That was ridiculous. I'm still... That bothers me every time that kind of stuff happens. It makes no sense. Because this whole time... I had these villages loaded with low qual weapons and they did a hell of a lot better. Maybe it's the, uh, because it's cavalry, so they're obviously going to be higher rank, I suppose would be the justification on that. And they did have a couple of regular quality weapons, so I suppose they would have been smarter. Maybe they had heals. The fight did take a while, but damn, that's irritating. Huh. I have to do some testing with the next one that comes in my area and see if my boys don't do better if they go and attack them before they get to a village. And we're just loading back in. Which kind of means I can go a little ham as far as the uh, amount of villages that I want to create. I didn't even look at how many I had. I think I have 60 now. How many do I have? I have 58 villages. Now the one downside to what I'm doing, which isn't a major downside at all, is when I take out a village from up here that's already been numbered, it throws all my numbers off. So I have to go to the point before See how this says it's supposed to be 33, but it's 29 now. So I'm going to have to go through and renumber each one of these villages. Like I said, these bad boys are all just sitting empty, giving me some room to grow. Uh, why? I don't really want to leave him empty. Okay, I forgot about that one. But this one I wouldn't care about because nobody should be coming up this way to do anything to that village. This one I do want people in. So, let me do another scan and make sure I don't want to get rid of another zone. Those are blocker villages. Definitely not getting rid of that. I want to keep all this back stuff. I don't want anybody coming in here. Though I could get rid of this one. I mean, anything that would go in there is going to get within reach of these. I don't really need these villages. This really isn't a very good gathering village. Alright, so... Where was that stupid village? <laughs> I think it was the second one up, wasn't it? Yeah, okay. 
Voila ha, whatever. Hmm, do I want to get rid of this? I'm debating on it whether or not I want to get rid of that. Do I want to get rid of this? The only thing this is good for is if they come in and reoccupy any of this. And again, this isn't a great, although it's not the worst area for gathering. Actually, it's not a bad spot. I think I'll keep that spot. I suppose I don't have to get rid of this village. I can just take the warriors and move them. How many horses do I have? Eight. Uh, equip you. Give you horses. And I'll just send the rest of the dudes over there. Take out the guns and the war bows. You have two dudes, so I should give you something. Give you another. I'll give you two bows. Oh, I, I thought I only had one in there. There you go. Kind of now that I think about it. I think I'd rather just give them war bows. And this is the kind of stuff that I do while I wait for something to happen. Um, 20. And I can actually pause to make sure nothing happens while I'm doing this kind of stuff. So I would like to set up a war party with 16 dudes on horseback for the next raid that comes through, so I don't have to rush. Uh, just 10. Give me that. something were to happen, I'd much rather lose a bow than a rifle. I'm not too worried about losing one dude. Let's make sure we have enough this time. And these are all, okay. Alright, so that little chore is pretty well done. Come up here. Oh yeah, I forgot to put the 
guns where they belong. And get rid of those. I should have kept the mediums there. <laughs> and these go here. Right, this is the right one. I just noticed I have 1974s in here. I don't need 19 of those. Let's take a... Uh, oh, I only have seven of those. Okay, I'll just take five. There we go. I have one of those medium arrows. Okay, where are we at? You guys are coming here. They're going there. They are solid. Alright, see what else I can do here. Create another village, perhaps. That's not the worst spot. Those are good spots. I don't have rope here. What are you doing with the... Oh, okay, no. I'm going to take all these. Give you some arrows. Do another one. Do 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 do. That's that's a better spot. That should be safe. That's a good spot. Yet another one, and they do have people in them, so I can do that. That could be a little vulnerable. That might be just a hair dangerous, but I'm going to go for it. And the reason I keep hitting equip, even though I don't want to, I know it's going to give it a rifle, I don't want to give it. I don't have to go and gather those two items. It does that automatically for me. Just speeds it up a little bit. Not much. <laughs> Alright, I think I saw one more I could do. What kind of spot is that? That's actually, well, that's not where I want to be, though. I want to be down in this area. So that would not be a good spot. Alright, let's grab some rope. Do a few more villages. Uh, like 30 more rope. Let's try to set some stuff up down this way. There's a couple... I wouldn't really want to leave that empty though. That one's not bad. Do that. Well, it's right next to the bear. That's not the worst spot.
shoot. Bah. I don't have any. Bah. Uh, let's go with like five. That would be fifty. Uh, three hundred. Okay, this guy has no wood. So I want to give you a bow. I'm going to give you some arrows. I'm going to give you a hundred wood. And the reason, another reason I give him a hundred wood is I want him to be a little ahead when I do actually start gathering. They're already going to have the wood. So I'll go ahead and send you there. Give you the bow. Alright, that's not a bad spot. What do you give me? And this zone doesn't have anybody in it, so I don't want to go there. That's right next to the boar. It's a little further up than I'm looking. What's this guy doing? I wouldn't mind having one up in here somewhere. Yeah, that's like perfect. Okay. I might actually do two from there. Just make sure they got wood. That's a nice spot right there. What do I want to go? There or there? Actually, I don't mind going here either. That would help me clear out anything that happens over there. Yeah, I'll do that. And just kind of looking around. Suppose this one might be more useful. They'll be able to get up into this region. Yeah, that one would be more useful. Alrighty. Oh, well, got a little bit of action going on around here. A couple of post wagons. That's enticing. Alright, how many more villages do I have now? Two, four, six. Uh, puts me at about like 60 something, 64 or so. Where's the last one that had all the stuff in it? Let's see what you can do for me. Again, with this one teasing me. Oh, is this going to be blocked from coming over there? He's blocked from coming down that way. I don't really need another blocker village. Yeah, I don't need that right now. That is such a nice spot, though. That's next to the bear. Keep running in circles here. That's actually a good spot. Kind of, kind of close. That's just such a nice spot. I'm gonna go for it. Uh, 
Oh, well, yeah, that'll make it kind of hard to do that, won't it? Okay, scratch that idea. I only have one warrior in here. Oops. Can you do the same thing for me? You can. Let's try it with him. Very good. It's the little details that'll get you every time. Meanwhile, two, four, six, seven. Ah. Uh, Just thinking here a little bit. That's 14 sitting empty. What does this make? 65. So that's 65 villages. Do I want to push for 70 or should I be happy with 65? Hmm. Uh, 70 is a nice round number, I suppose. Hmm. Do I really need 70 villagers, so? I've got plenty of room to expand now. And I took quite a few guys out of my main, my core village. He's sitting kind of dangerous right now. Sixty-five. Decisions, decisions. That's already, yeah, I don't want to go in there. That's not worth it. I think I'm okay with 65. That's a good spot. Although that's right on the border, I think that'll actually count as being in that region. Yeah, okay. I think I'm I think I'm solid. I'm satisfied with sixty five. So I wanna get these upgraded. I'm just gonna take a thousand. And then I'm going to arm my, I'm going to set up a uh, squad so I'm ready when the next attack comes through. Or for anything that might come my way. I think my last chore that I really want to get done, which I more than likely won't do on stream is I want to go through every village what am I doing I want to go through every village and make sure they got the right ammo the right amount of ammo make sure everybody's ready apparently paying attention to your ammo levels is a thing now because they're using ammo which they haven't done prior So 
so that's something I'm getting used to. See if I can get this done quickly for us. That there. Almost done with this task. Oh, uh, what am I out of? I am out of bear claw. Looks like I need to bring some more claw over. I know it's a pretty rare breed of gamer that would sit through a video like this to this point, so I appreciate it if you are that person that's watched this whole video. <laughs> Kudos to you, you are a warrior. that done. Take 800. And I'm just waiting for this one to get occupied. I'm going to go ahead and leave this with just the one dude in it. That could be a little dangerous, but like I said, the worst thing that's going to happen is I'm going to lose that one dude. And the only dilemma that gives me is I don't really want to leave all my parts in this last village like I normally would. But I probably will. <laughs> I don't know. It seems unlikely that anybody's going to reach that village. He's blocked pretty much from three sides. So that should be safe enough. Alright. So now what I want to do is get rid of this. Let's drop that off. Let's drop off a hundred of those. And I want to pick up 16 more bows. Oops. Um. Uh, I don't know that they could carry. I don't know how many they could carry, really. 50 a piece seemed to work pretty well. I don't know. We'll see. 100 would work better. <laughs> 
Uh, what do I want to give him? I want to give him medicine. Now that I understand how the medicine and such works. Um, 10 a piece? 20 a piece? Let's try 10 a piece. I think that'll work. What does that get? 42 so far? Yeah. That should be good. Alright, what else? Was that it? think yeah I think that's it all right I kind of want to go in order here what is five down five that's why I had five yeah that's not gonna work so what was it two three four six I guess Make sure these guys have horses. They do. Okay. Let's do this the right way. Uh, I give him twenty a piece. I don't care. So that's two, three, I'm giving each of these camps the items I want to give the warriors. Take my 40 back. Alright, and before I do this, I want to go ahead and save because you never know. Let's get my horse. I haven't checked his uh, bonding level recently. That is not what I wanted to do. Ooh, so close. And I need some hay. Let's get totally distracted. Now, let's give this a shot. Yeah, it's cutting it pretty close. Yeah, it's still got a little room, so good enough.
No. Negatory. I already had stuff in here for these guys. That's why these numbers are off. I think I might have set the first one or second one up without horses, I guess. Everybody's on a horse, right? Everybody got a horse? Thought I saw one dude walking around. No, we look good. Alright, that works. So I want to set... Make sure these guys are all ready to go for whatever might come. I want to go ahead and save. And yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to get on stream for those that care how I do it how I roll uh, it's an important part which is why I'm actually streaming it it's an important part of creating the uh, feeder campaign I suppose I could go for a little test ride here. Let's make sure they follow me. Where's this road? I don't see a road. Oh shit. Okay, that's not working. They're shooting at something. Wolf or something stupid. Be wasting arrows, dummy. How many arrows did I just waste? Eh, doesn't look like I did. Oh, that's a weird audio thing going on. Oh, come on. Get around the rock, dude. Ah. I'm doing an autopilot here. Some of them are keeping up. One of the French traders coming up here. That's interesting. They changed the pathing. So he's not following the road anymore when I auto travel. Kind of just taking the straightest course he can get. Let's see if my boys end up making it over this way. I 
kind of like it. I don't know how well that's going to work with a wagon, though. He follows the road a little bit when it feels like it, I guess. I'm more curious if all my warriors are going to show up or not. There we go. And let's see what happens with the warriors. Okay, so far so good. Two, four, six, eight. I have half of them. That would be kind of nice if they could show an icon of where your warriors are. Where did the rest of them go? They must be way back there. I don't see them coming. Alright, so let's see... Hmm. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, I lost half the warriors traveling, huh? Okay, now what if I fast travel where do I want to fast travel? Where do I want to go? That's a post wagon. Could actually go up and mess with the post wagon. Yeah, why not? Let's see if all my boys show up or not. Of course. Where am I? Get out of the way. I got one dude on foot. Let's see if we can go get this guy. Where is he? There's the road. Let's go with follow me. Open fire. Yeah, okay. Of course, he's going the wrong way now.
Yeah, I'm not going to be able to catch him. Get in there. Question is, how many boys do I have with me? Well, that'll make this interesting. Okay, let's go get them. Where's this little side road? Somehow I missed it. Oh, there it is. And we're just going to ride up on it. See how that goes. one is it? I think it's this one up here. No? No driver? Yep. Ah, where's my horse? Get out of my way. Okay, that was kind of uneventful. Now I kind of wonder if I have a uh, any more loot over this way. Really? Really? Whoa! Damn, son. Okay. Where am I taking this? I'm going to have to do that. Try not to get stuck up on a tree. Apparently there's a road. Yeah, okay, they are following me. That's a nice little find. They should be able to keep up with a wagon, no? Where's this village? I could just go up here, huh? Yeah, because that village is going to be kind of a pain in the butt. What is that? Kind of an odd spot for a wagon. What is this? Oh, it's a camp. Weird. <laughs> you can see where I'm headed here. Looks like I passed it up. Oh, shoot. Okay, good.
That's some nice stuff there. And let's drop where are these guys going. like that. It's hard to complain about that. I didn't even have to fight anybody for it. I just snuck on in and grabbed it. That was easy enough. They're heading into there, so I don't mind that at all. Oh, did I forget to upgrade a village? I did. Let's go take care of that situation. Then I gotta go back and get my horse. I'm definitely not gonna leave my loot in here. That is a very dangerous spot. leave that under protection. Alright, where am I at? Now I gotta get back to my horse. I could just take a wagon. Sounds like I'm having some audio issues. I don't know if that's coming through on the video. I'll have to watch. Am I over the road? I am. These roads are so hard to see sometimes. <laughs> I'm going to go return their wagon empty. And it's not even their wagon. I grabbed a different one. They're going to be so confused. Let's see, did I already pass the turn section? No. Boys are coming. <laughs> All right, and I think after I get my horse, I'm going to go ahead and call this a stream. I showed what I wanted to show, and I actually kind of hate for there to be some action popping off. Where is this stupid road? I don't see a road. It says there's a road. I don't see a road. Oh, is that my horse right there? <laughs> Durr. Okay. Oh, you guys can have the wagon back. Make sure, yeah, that's empty. Get out of my way, dude. Alright. Back on the saddle. And... Let's go back over here.
doing auto travel. Let's see if it'll make it. Let the wood gatherers? Yeah. I could take them out, but I don't really care. I wonder if I need to take them out to kind of trigger the, uh... I wonder if that would help trigger, like, the next raid or something. Let's go ahead and take them out. Screw them. You came too close to me, guys. We'll see how the dudes, my dudes, get through these forests. These trees. It's looking pretty good. These guys should be coming up pretty quick here. I'm just going to go ahead and ride on through you. It's a massacre. Come back here, bitch. Where are you going? Whoa. Okay. I guess I don't have my, uh... I do not. <laughs> that concentration really pays off. There we go. Of course he's laying no? Good. Ah, there's not a bunch of pea shooters in there. Show yourself. Oops. What are the chances I could find? I don't think I'm gonna find the guys that just got shot. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, I got all turned around. I have no idea. They made it over to here. I think they were like... I want to say they were around like here. Looking for the horses. Yeah, I'm not going to find these guys. Alright. I don't want to go that way. Let's come back up to the road. Oh, wait. Ah. More pea shooters. But, you know. Oh, I just moved my horse. That was convenient. Can I do that again? I can move him. <laughs> Alright, any more dudes? That's a rock. Alright, I guess that's good enough. Let's go... Let's go check out an empty village. Post wagon, post wagon. Those guys are tripping. Let's try auto travel, see if, see if I can get through the trees. We're gonna go see what an empty, maxed out village looks like. Oh, right into a boulder. And it got stuck. Yeah. I 
That's kind of interesting. Oh, that's a, uh, a neutral camp that got wiped out before I came up here. Oh, they got two random horses just chilling. I know there won't be anything for loot, right? Yeah. But what about over here? I don't really need those, but whatever. <laughs> My one dude. Hey, what's up, brother? Yeah, I brought you a present. Yeah, you're gonna have yourself some paralyzing. Make sure you use those wisely, alright? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, let's see where my horse is at. Did I get to the next one? Damn, I'm so close. Damn, look at how much damage my horse took. I don't remember doing all that. Huh. Two left. Alright, I think I'm going to drop off the loot, or exit out, see where my percentage is, and then I'm going to call it a stream. Uh, let's get rid of this. Looks like I need some medicine. And some more stone. Good enough. Alright, I like it. Let's see. That one dude still doesn't have a horse. I wonder if I could tell him to mount. Um, let's see. There you are. Can you go over there and get one of those horses? Doesn't look like it. Let's see if I get him close to this horse, if he'll get on it. Yeah, there's some weird audio stuff going on. Uh, da -da 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 -da. No? Okay, what if I unmount you? Yeah. It's not going to do it, are you? That's a bummer. No, alright. That's not going to happen. And there you go. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I don't know how informative it was, but that's pretty much just what I do. We're going to go ahead and see what my percentage is at. Hopefully I don't have to dismantle any villages. I haven't had any boys join lately. I wonder if they would shoot at fish. See, I always come up with these little ideas. I wonder if I were to put them on open fire. Now I'm still at 81%.
but now I have 65 villages. So that I like. Yeah, that works. So I could do more villages if I wanted. I just have to do them in the right spots. Huh. That is something to think about. And with that, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, stay safe, and I will see you on the next one. Peace out.